This is a visualization of the thousands of satellites orbiting planet Earth. Most of the satellites orbit just above the Earth's atmosphere. But I bet you're wondering at this ring. Why are so many satellites lined up in that circle? This is the geostationary orbit. Satellites at this height have an orbital period of 24 hours. Their angular velocity matches the rotational speed of the Earth, making them appear stationary with respect to planet Earth. This feature has a huge benefit for communication satellites. So where do we plant our satellites for them to be geostationary? It would be nice if satellites can orbit along the latitudes. But such orbits are not attainable. For circular motion, satellites need a net force that's directed towards the center of the circle. But the Earth can only pull the satellites towards the center of the Earth. That's why all satellites with circular orbits must be centered about the Earth's center. But any orbit which is inclined to the equatorial plane is obviously not geostationary. Such orbits bring them in and out of the two hemispheres. Of all the orbits in the equatorial plane, only one has an orbital period of 24 hours. A satellite is falling around the Earth at a rate decided by the gravitational field strength. The further away from the Earth, the weaker the field strength, the slower the satellites fall around the Earth, and the longer the orbital period. For an orbital period of 24 hours, we have to bring the satellite to 35,786 kilometers above the Earth's equator. It's a long way out, but it's worth it if you want to be geostationary.